Today, I want to cover an interesting question that I came across online. The question is, can one Amazon account be shared across multiple devices while keeping separate libraries? Imagine two people, partners, siblings, or family members who use one Amazon account but want different books displayed for each of them. Maybe they have hundreds of books on one account and would love to separate them as they both have distinctively different tastes in books. There are two scenarios that I like to cover here. Scenario one is two partners share one Kindle device and one Amazon account. They want to separate their books on that single device. They read all their books from one device but are annoyed that all their books are bundled up together. Scenario two is two partners each have their own Kindle device linked to one Amazon account. They need to keep track of and separate their own books. I will also add a bonus workaround on how you can share your Kindle purchase books with any device you wish. Stick around to the very end for this bonus content. Let us go back to the original question and see what the best solutions are. Firstly, I should mention that an Amazon account is meant for one person and was never designed to create separate libraries. That being said, there are some workarounds. For our scenario one, with only one Kindle device across two people, the solution is to create a collection and place all the books of one of the people into a collection. This way, it's easier to find that person's books and manage them in one place. Alternatively, you could have two collections for each person and have collection view to easily distinguish between the books you want to read. For collections, you can create and manage your collections via the Amazon website, which should speed things up. What about scenario two, when you have two Kindle devices? Here, we can certainly apply the same solution as before when you create a collections for individual users. There is, however, another way. The second option requires a registration or creation of a second Amazon account. Once created, you can use the household sharing feature and add the second account as part of the household. When creating household sharing, make sure you choose the option to share individual books rather than all the books. This way, you will be able to manually select books you'd like to share with the newly created Amazon account. Once that's done, you'd need to deregister and register your Kindle device with that newly created Amazon account. I understand this step is slightly more time consuming, but I think it's beneficial to manage the problem of mixing books across people who have distinctively different tastes in books and don't want to share the books between each other. My bonus workaround that I promised at the beginning of this video is a process that allows you to remove DRM protection on your Kindle purchase books. This way you can download and keep your books locally. You can change their format as well and send them to any device you wish, like your phone, tablet, laptop, or other ebook readers. The process requires installing the Calibre application, adding a DDRM plugin to Calibre, downloading the protected books from Kindle, and removing the DRM protection via Calibre. If it sounds complicated, well, it kind of is, but I've created a separate video that walks you step by step through the whole process. The video is linked here and in the description, so if you're interested, head to that link. This video took me quite a while to make, so if it was useful to you and allowed you to save some time, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you're an ebook reader like myself, you may benefit from hitting that notification bell as I will be releasing more ebook reader content in the future. Also, if you're interested in other Kindle related videos, you may enjoy one of these videos here. For now, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Did you subscribe already? Did you? You make sure you do and now get out of here, thanks.